Student debt is rising in Massachusetts, but state funding is falling. 22 News State House reporter Alicia Machado is live in Boston, where students are calling on lawmakers to invest more in higher education. Many of the students that came to the state house today are going into debt to get their degree. They're hoping the state will provide some relief, including a year of free college. According to a mass budget report, average tuition and fees for Massachusetts public colleges and universities have more than doubled since 2001. But higher education spending per student has been cut by 32 percent over the same period. Students lobbied lawmakers at the State House Monday to put money back into the higher education system. They want lawmakers to pass a bill that would pay for one full year of tuition and fees at a public college or university for eligible students. Students. It's known as the finish line grant. So many students usually drop out after the first year after seeing the cost and how it affects them. So even just giving them one extra year to overthink, especially with like community colleges where you might only go for two years, pay for your first year and it encourages to stay for your degree. Students and advocates are also hoping that voters will pass a 2018 ballot question known as the Fair Share Amendment or Millionaire's Tax. It would invest a portion of income tax revenue in education and transportation. We can't afford to do the things that we're talking about if the Ferris Share Amendment doesn't pass. If passed, the question would place a 4% surtax on incomes over $1 million. Higher education advocates want $500 million of generated revenue to go to public higher education. The finish line grant bill is currently stuck in committee, but they're expected to take action by April 25th. Live at the State House in Boston, Alicia Machado for 22 News.